Welcome to another Bible study and we are going to look at the remnant of the apostolic church in these last days. So the remnant of the apostolic church of these last days. So who are the remnant? That is what you are going to study. And what are we supposed to do so that we can become the remnant and one day inherit the kingdom of God? We have a choice. Now is the time that we should make characters as we have studied we have seen almost all things that the Bible foretold. It is us who are experiencing these last days. So may God help us to understand the time we are living so as to prepare for his second coming. So before we start this Bible study, I would like each one of us to take heed of these messages because they are going to help us to become the remnant of the woman, to become the true people of God's church. So despite of all our sinfulness, all our challenges, Christ still says we can be part of the remnant. He asks you and me to give our lives to him and then everything will be fine so that when he comes, we can meet him on the clouds. So before we start, let us believe and have a word of prayer. Okay, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, thank you Lord for this day. Now Father, we ask the Holy Spirit to come and guide us into all truth. Father, have mercy on us and enable us to be part of the remnant of these last days. Give us courage, boldness to stand for your word. May this message help each one of us. I pray that short prayer, trusting and believing to Jesus Christ our King and Savior. Amen. Okay, so we are going to look at, as you have seen, the remnant. And now we start, where did this war come until now we should have a remnant? Where did the war begin? It started in Revelation chapter 12, where we find the people of God were being persecuted because of Christ's sake. And now we see that the true church was persecuted and now the devil brought compromise into the church because the church was not keeping the commandments of God. And now we see that the church has brought many compromises that even we cannot identify which is the true church and which is the false church. But the Bible is clear on this issue. Each one of us has a choice to follow the commandments of God and the church of God or to follow our own ways and our own heart as we think. Now we read from Revelation 12, 17. There it says, and the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, those who keep the Ten Commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So you can see this was the persecuted church when it was made war on it because of preaching the gospel of Christ. And also you have seen that it is because they kept the Ten Commandments and the testimony of Jesus that is why they were being chased and also at the time came that they were being persecuted for Christ's sake. Now this remnant that has remained, it is in this world and it can be identified and it is the people who are, who are going to be in it and to make it to be part of the remnant. Otherwise it can be there, but if we don't follow the things of the remnant, then we don't belong to the remnant. So it says, they keep the Ten Commandments of God and they have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So, Ten Commandments of God, Exodus 20, they are there, we know them. And you can see that even now, the Catholic Church has brought Ten Commandments, which are just counterfeit of the original one. Now it's time we take heed of the Commandments of God and note them in our mind. Another thing, they have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So what is the testimony of Jesus Christ? Revelation 19 verse 10. It says, And I fell to worship him, and he said, Don't do it, thou I am of thy fellow servants. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony of Jesus Christ as outlined in the Bible is the spirit of prophecy. So the remnant people, they have the spirit of prophecy, and they have the Ten Commandments. That is the church that has remained upon this earth. They look at the signs of the times, and also they keep the Ten Commandments, including 
the Sabbath. And which Sabbath day? The seventh day Sabbath, not the first day of the week. The Bible is clear on the issue of the Sabbath. As we have seen in the past, uh, the papacy brought the Sabbath into the church and now he has made many souls to believe Sunday as the day of worship, while yet it has no biblical support. Luke 23:54, Good News Version. It was on Friday and the Sabbath was about to begin. We are told here that the Sabbath is the seventh day, which is Saturday. Despite people saying this war is not going to be over the Sabbath, but the last conflict before Christ come, it will be whether to keep the true Sabbath, which is the seventh day, or to keep the false Sabbath, which is Sunday. Another thing we have seen, they keep the Ten Commandments and have the faith of Jesus. So the faith of Jesus is also the same as the testimony of Jesus Christ. And then, Revelation 22, 14, after keeping the Ten Commandments, they will eat from the tree of life. If the Ten Commandments were crucified by, cross, by Christ on the cross and they do not exist, why then in Revelation 22, 14, we are being told, those who keep the commandments of God, they will have time, they will have a strength, and they will have the right to eat from the tree of God. We have a choice. You see, the Ten Commandments are there for you and me to keep them. Keeping the Ten Commandments does not also say that our works will help us to enter to heaven. By the grace of God, our in our lives, the fruit is being given out, and that fruit is keeping of the commandments of God. Christ himself said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And one commandment of them is what? Remember the Sabbath. The seventh day is the Sabbath of your Lord, not the first day of the week, which is Sunday. Another thing, promises to the remnant. Joel 2 verse 32. The Lord shall deliver them. We are being told as you are going to be part of the remnant who we keep the Ten Commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. The Lord will deliver us in all our challenges, our problems, all our troubles that we pass through. We will be like the three Hebrew boys who there we saw they were thrown into the fire, but inside there they stood firm with Christ and Christ himself came down to deliver them. The same way is promised to those who are going to be part of the remnant. Another thing, Ezra 9 verse 8, grace given to them to escape deception coming in the world. So Ezra 9 8, grace is given to those who are going to be part of the remnant. We have a choice and we will be made um, among those who will escape the deception which is coming upon the world. Micah 5 verse 7, they are few among many. The remnant are few among many. It is us to strive to enter and become part of the remnant. Remember being told also that the narrow way, it is the one which leads to heaven, while the wide, it leads to hell. So you see, the remnant will always walk among few people. The remnant will always be like an awkward huh? but it will stay and make sure it stands upon the Ten Commandments and the testimony of Jesus Christ. So they are a few among many. And then Zephaniah 3 verse 13, the remnant shall do no iniquity. The remnant of God, they shall do no iniquity. That is how we should supposed to be. Because what is iniquity? Breaking the commandments of God. If we break one, we break all of them. So it is us to ask God, Father, help us to keep your commandments. You have promised the remnant they shall be kept away from iniquity. And we want to be part of these people. Help us, Lord. Another thing, Zechariah 8, 11 to 12. The remnant will soon possess all things. So I've been told, now as we await the second coming of Christ, the remnant will possess all the things that the Lord has prepared for them, despite of the challenges, despite of all things that we pass in this Christian life, there is a crown waiting for you and me. Don't give up. Look, at, look ahead. Look ahead. Another thing, Romans 9, 27 to 28, the remnant shall be saved. If the remnant appears, 
the Lord will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. So I've been told, in these last days when the remnant will come out, then they're going to keep the Ten Commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. And the work is soon to be cut short and Christ is soon to come to take his people home. Now, are we going to be part of the remnant people or are we going to be part of the people of the world? We have to be different people. People who watch the signs of the times, people who keep the seven day Sabbath. So pray that God may continue helping us to stand firm with his word as we near the close of this hard earth history. It is you to choose, it is me to choose. Every person has a choice. Remain the remnant, be the remnant, strive to be the remnant. Remember we had a study about uh, the 144,000. You have to strive to be among them. The remnant, the Satan is very angry with them. And in every place they go, he always brings trouble. He always makes them to be awkward people. You see, so just stand firm with Christ and he will stand for us. So as you have seen, that is about the remnant of the true apostolic church. You have seen they keep the Ten Commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Another thing, they will be saved. Another thing, they will inherit all things. So what a thing that we have to be part of those who are going to be the remnant. May God help us to stand firm for his truth always. Have a blessed day and may the Lord of heaven be with us. Let's pray. We pray, our Father, I come before you this time. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Lord, now as you have studied the remnant people, help us to be among them. We know it is not easy, but Father, give us the stand to have it. Help us, Father, to keep your commandments and also the testimony of Jesus Christ. Open our minds so as we can see what is coming upon us. Help us, Father. We pray that short prayer, trusting and believing, to Jesus Christ, our King and Savior. Amen.